Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Deleted Scenes from Sunday Sermon. Today's topic, discerning God's will. Listen to what the Word of God says in 1 John chapter 4, verse 1. Dear friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. This past Sunday, we learned about what it means to worship God in spirit and in truth. And one of the things that we took away from that passage in John 4 is that God is calling us to approach Him by being moved by the Spirit, and by being grounded in His truth. Now, this sermon and this topic gives us an opportunity to talk about how do we know when God is calling us to do something? Is it of man or is it of God? So what I want us to do today is I want to work you through this triangle that you see. And we're going to place God in the center of this triangle. And I want to talk to you about three different ways that God continues to speak to us today to help us in making decisions that are honoring to Him. So let's stop, start with the first way that God speaks to us, and that is through His Word. Yes, the Bible teaches us that the Word of God is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Now, this doesn't mean that we're going to open up the Bible and read a verse in Scripture that's going to say, hey, it's time for you to quit your job and to start your own business. You may not find that passage in God's Word. But instead, what God often does for us is that through His Word, He reveals to us what His prescribed will is for our lives. Now, take, for example, the Ten Commandments. So whenever we make a decision in our lives, we got to allow the Word of God to filter that decision to see if what we're doing honors God or dishonors God. So if we look at the Ten Commandments, we'll see and ask ourselves the question, does this decision dishonor my parents? Is this decision related to murdering somebody, God forbid, committing adultery, stealing, lying? coveting what somebody else has. So whenever we go to make a decision and we run it through God's Word, if there's anything that we're seeking to do that violates God's Word, then that's a major red flag. That's God's way of saying to us, that's not what I want you to do with your life. All right, let's talk about the second way that God continues to speak to us today, and that is through His church. Now, God speaks to us through His church. Now, that might be through a formal decision or position or a doctrine that a church may have with something related to faith and life. Uh, take, for example, the church's position on the sanctity of life or the church's position on the definition of marriage. Those are things that God has given to us to help guide us in making decisions and evaluating what's right and what's wrong. But oftentimes, it doesn't have to be a formal declaration from the church for us to know what's right and what's wrong. Many times, God just speaks to us through other believers. I love the passage in Proverbs eleven fourteen, which says, Where there is no counsel, the people fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. One thing I've learned about my own life is that I have blind spots. The truth is we all have blind spots. And we need to have people speak God's truth into our lives. There's maybe something that I don't see that somebody else sees. That's why I need mature followers of Jesus Christ uh, to speak to me and to counsel me as, as I share with them what I'm thinking about doing and I'm looking for advice. What do you all have to say about that? Okay. so. Let's look at the third way that God speaks to us. So He speaks to us through His Word. He speaks to us through the church. And now, number three, He speaks to us through the Holy Spirit. Yes, through our 
personal relationship with Christ. God speaks to us through his spirit. Now, the spirit may, as we go to make a decision, may actually remind us that we were in a similar situation before and that we got to make sure to take something in consideration. Maybe there was a lesson that we learned in a previous decision that the Holy Spirit wants us to factor in in the decision that we're making right now. Other times, the Holy Spirit speaks to us by just giving us peace in our heart to say, you know what, this is exactly what God wants me to do. Now, it, the Holy Spirit will speak to us through the Word. The Holy Spirit also speaks to us through the church. And the Holy Spirit speaks to us through our personal relationship with Christ. Okay? So there you have it. Those are the three things. And I believe, okay, in my own experience, I believe that when those three things, when all three of those things that you see on the triangle are all giving a green light, that's a strong indication that yes, God is calling you to move forward in faith. If at any time you're going to make a decision and just one of those three things is missing, it may not be against God's word and people might be actually counseling you to do it. But if you don't have the peace of God in you, that might be God's way of saying it's time to wait. OK, so there you have it. We want to make sure that the decisions that we're making, we're filtering them through his word, his church and his spirit. And when all three of those things are working together, then we can move forward in faith, trusting that Jesus Christ will lead us to the place where he wants us to be. Thank you for tuning in. And may God richly bless you.